Leo, this is your 2022 love reading. I'm so excited about doing these readings this week. Um, I am going to start something new and I'm going to be doing candle magic. So if you are interested in a ceremony for you, the price and everything will be over on my Instagram channel. So go ahead and check that out. Okay. Also pay attention and hit the like, subscribe and share button because I will be doing more readings. This is love this week, but then I'm also going to do career slash finance and a general reading for 2022. So don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share button so you can get notified when I post these videos. Okay, don't forget to check out your moon rising and Venus signs as well to get a bigger picture of what's going on. I'll pull some oracle cards and we will hop right into your love reading. Okay, there will be an extended for this and in the extended I'll go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. Okay, the dream, something revealed, insight, breakthrough. I feel like it's like there's some sort of release that's happening, peace, dissolving unwanted or disturbing thoughts. There's a perception changing significantly. Lost love, surrender, healing, release. Makes sense. And what you're not seeing is yin yang, creating harmony through balance, which I'm actually really excited to see this for a love reading because... Each person incorporates a specific energy, whether it's feminine or masculine. You can be a feminine and you can be a female and have masculine energy. You can be a male and have feminine energy. So whatever it is that you harness, that you have the majority of, your significant other has the opposite of what you have. So there's a lot of balancing in that. There's a lot of reciprocation, a lot of back and forth in relationships when it comes to that. And I really, you're not even seeing this. This is so cool. I just realized this. But it's moon, sun, moon. Look at that. Which is great, which is balance as well because feminine, masculine, feminine energies. And then this is like the uniting of them. It's almost like there needs to be a little bit more feminine energy to balance out the masculine energy. <clears throat> excellent, excellent. That's really awesome. The coming together of this. The overall energy for the reading. Ace of Wands, which is exactly what Aries got in the exact same spot. You might want to check out their reading. There's probably a message in there. They had this card too. Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, um, Judgment, which is also the Awakening, Five of Swords. They had that card too. Six of Cups, Strength card. This is amazing. Okay, so Leo, this is actually your card. I'm really glad it ended with this. I mean, all of this is basically, a, this is a, a fantastic reading. This is absolutely fantastic. You did lose somebody. There was a relationship that ended that was extremely painful. And it was one of those, like, I never want to do that again. I never want to go through that again. But your happiness, you let it go. You went... You came into the realization that you never wanted to do that again. So you changed your perception. You changed your mindset. You, you fixed yourself. You did the work that needed to be done. And you realized what your part in that story was. And by realizing what your part in that story was, it actually created a... Um, this is like the Empress of the, Ma the Minor Arcana. This is a feminine energy. This is very much in the receiving. You, you might have been the person that was taking too much action into doing things. Um, or, you know, flip the roles as necessary. <clears throat> However, I feel like you might have been the one that was doing too much work in the people that you had been in relationship with in, in the past. Let you do all the work. And I feel like that was something that you needed to come into the realization of and what make, makes you happy is like it doesn't make you happy to have to do everything. You thought that you were meant to take care of somebody or to do all of the work or to be the one that is always taking action. But, you know, there are times that you have to rest. There are times that you have to sit down and you have to get into the receiving mode and into um, into love. Basically, it's like not feeling love. There's There was some sort of awakening or an epiphany that happened that I'm seeing that is very exciting, actually. I'm glad this card came up, which is also clarified by a major arcana. It's a lesson that you learned. There might have been somebody who came to you and was like, you know, do you ever notice that you always get with lazy people? 
Did you ever notice that you always get with people who like expect you to take care of them? Is this really what you want? Is this really the relationship that you want to be in? I mean, think about it. Think about it. Do you really want to be the one that has to do everything? I don't think so. I don't think so. I feel like you might have seen somebody and watched a relationship where one of the people, you know, that you relate more to that did a lot of the work in it. And I feel like you're stepping back and you're seeing that relationship and you're seeing that situation with a lot of clarity. You had been putting yourself into these situations and, I, and I, you're realizing it now. You're realizing what it is that you're doing, how you're doing it. It's, it was very frustrating because you kept putting yourself in those situations. Ever since you were little, you've always put yourself in those situations, your friends, your family, the relationships you were in, even the relationships at work, the jobs you took. You're the one that always had to do the work. You're the one that was always the, the, um, the gopher, the one that did everything, that, that had to do everything. <clears throat> You're getting over it. You're stepping into your power and you're stepping into your voice and you're realizing that you're not worth it anymore. You've turned your back on this. You've turned your back on these situations. I love how the strength card is focused towards the future and what it is that you want. And that's where this new beginning is happening. This new, amazing, awesome, exciting beginning. This is, um, this is very powerful. I don't think you even realize how significant this new beginning is. One more card. It opens up the potential for love. By stepping into your power, you're looking right at it. This is why, this is why doing the work is so important is because if you're not on the same level as the person that you want, are looking for, you're never going to see them. You're going to pass right by them. If this person's on the second story and you're in the basement, you guys are going to constantly walk past each other and you're not even going to see each other. You're not even going to know that the other person is there. You have to go up and meet this person on the top story. You can, you're not going to find them in the basement. They're not going to drop down levels to come to you. They're not going to come down there to you. They're not going to meet you down there. You have to level up. And that's why you have to surrender all of this and realize your part in those past relationships. Realize take, Taking responsibility for your roles in all of those past relationships. You made the choice to do all the work. You made the choice to not sit and receive. There, there's a freeing that happens here. You're looking at past relationships. There might be somebody that you look up to that you're like, oh my God, I want a relationship just like theirs. But... So when you step back and you look at the relationship, you're like, no, I actually don't want a relationship like theirs. I want to, I want it to be 50-50 mutual. Their relationship is not 50-50. And that's what I think you're seeing now is that you've been, this perception, these traditions, the things that you thought, you know, like the wife does the cooking and cleaning and taking care of the kids. The husband does the work. Like the, he doesn't do anything inside the house. All of his stuff is outside. There's a traditional thought process of like societal values that you've been following and I feel like there's a breakthrough in that and you're like that's not the relationship I want I don't want to follow societal rules when it comes to like what the man does and what the woman does or what the masculine energy does and what the female energy does I want my own rules in my own relationship and that's this balancing that's happening you have to balance it internally to get it externally so that's what I have for you, Leo. In the extended, I'm going to go over timeline advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share button. And also don't forget to check out my Instagram. And I will do some candle magic for you. You'll get the pricing and everything through there. Also, there are going to be a couple of videos that pop up here. If the title resonates for you, I highly recommend you check them out. And I will see you over there. This is your 2022 love reading.